One. Aloha, everybody. This is Marvin Franklin on the Hawaiian Kingdom Forever Update. Thanks for being with me. On the phone, we've got the Attorney General for the Hawaiian Kingdom. We've got Tom, and he's got all the updates for you from the phone. How you doing, Tom? Very good, Marvin. Thank you. What's new in the well, kingdom? Well, you know, um, we're still trying to resolve our problem with the Americans, and um, not meeting with much success yet, but we are not giving up. Uh, we're also trying to uh, address the, um, the issue of the, the United States Department of Interior's intention to expand the scope of rights for Native Hawaiian Americans and how this will be affecting not only Native Hawaiian Americans, but all the Americans that live in our kingdom, as well as uh, Hawaiian subjects. So it's a very complicated um, uh, situation, but slowly we're moving, you know, slowly we're moving uh, towards a, a much broader discussion than has been allowed by the uh, Department of Interior and the State of Hawaii, and uh, hopefully we can bring a greater measure of understanding to, um, uh, to, the, uh, uh, you know, to, to everyone out there interested in this. Well, how do we get more information to the people? Because people are downloading the app, they're going to YouTube, they're going to Google, they're find, finding the updates. If they needed to get a question answered, can they call the kingdom? They can call the kingdom, and we're also holding workshops. The next workshop will be on August 30th, but if they call the kingdom, we can give them the full schedule for all the workshops and discussions that we're holding on this matter. And, and uh, you know, the things that they should be uh, looking at uh, when, they, uh, uh, when they try to understand this situation. You know, we have perspectives that... Uh, I believe people haven't considered yet the question of uh, of uh, what will result after this government-to-government um, -government relationship with the Native Hawaiian community is established. What will happen then? Will we will we be uh, will gaming come to Hawaii? Uh, how will this affect? You know, how do they fund um, the changes resulting from? Uh, this government-to-government -government relationship with the Native Hawaiian community. How will it affect our education? What kind of changes are going to come about in um, state government? Um, and how will the government-to-government the -government relationship between the Hawaiian community and the United States affect the functions of state of Hawaii government today and then the rights of all of those people who are not um, the type of Native Hawaiian that uh, is going to be directly affected by the government-to-government -government relationship. So there are so many questions, those are just a few of them. And we are holding, like I said, these workshop discussions. Uh, we're, we're, we've scheduled another one, uh, the next one, for August 30th. But we have a full schedule, and you can get that by calling the Hawaiian Kingdom. All right, and you're going to be doing the IDs this week at Thursday at 10 o'clock on Mamo Street? We'll be looking to see you at the Hawaiian Kingdom this Tuesday and Thursday. And we've got Harvey here. Harvey wants to give an update for anybody who wants their driver's license. He's going to be down here giving the test. Hello, everyone. I want to give a great big mahalo and thanks to all the people that uh, has helped in this effort to clean up our hurricane, you know, 
victims. 